All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go mow hay for the very first time with the with my new uh, 6110R. I got the mower hooked to it for the very first time. So I'm getting ready to go see how this goes. Uh, hopefully it'll go just fine. And uh, kind of excited about getting out in the hay field with it the first time. So everything's hooked up, ready to go. <clears throat> uh, I just put a Starfire 3000 receiver on the cab. I don't need it to mow with, but I needed to spread lime and fertilizer and stuff with, so I, was, I went ahead and stuck it on there to see if it would uh, pull up some satellites. I bought it used. Um, I bought it used uh, from on eBay. So looks like it's starting to acquire some uh, signal strength and accuracy. So that's good. Uh, hopefully it'll work for me. Uh, this screen right here that come in the tractor will actually do the GPS. You don't have to have another screen. I mean, you can get a bigger screen if you want a bigger one, but I think this will be fine for what I'm doing. Uh, just manually steering the tractor and, uh, and just, yeah. They don't have a, a steering valve on it. I mean, it's set up to do auto track, automatic steering, but it doesn't have the, the actual valve on it. So I can't, can't really use it to do that. So, all right, let's go get in the field. All right, guys, we're getting ready to fire this thing up and do a little mowing. Uh, this is a pretty steep field, so I got it in regular 540 mode instead of 540E. <clears throat> and I'm using my GPS. <laughs> I just want to see it can tell me like acres work and stuff like that. That would be neat to know. So off we go on our first round and tell you what, this looks pretty good. Now I don't really have in this tractor anywhere to uh,
it's blinding me. I don't know if y'all can see, but I got some freaking corn growing in my in my hay field here. This is gonna be uh, silage silage hay, I guess. Uh, I hope I can mow corn with a disc mower. I guess I can. <laughs> never mowed corn with it before but it's just, it didn't seem to bother there's actually corn across the road and I guess I guess it washed some seeds down here apparently is what happened so anyway that'll be all right I got a cord I got to go around I know the sun is shining right in my face and y'all probably can't see anything but I got to go around this culvert or I'll run over it and die or bust a tire or something because that's normally what happens when I run over culvert so that's what happened last time I hit a culvert is I busted a tire and on a 6640 I busted a front tire of a metal culvert and it cut the tire I didn't see it and run the tire in the hole and uh, then a few years later at the same in the same field with the same culvert I was riding a 4600 and I was looking behind me, not paying attention. I was riding the tether and I looked behind me and then I turned back and I was driving off into the same hole and I couldn't get stopped and I ran slam into the hole, probably doing about six miles an hour and ripped the front axle plumb out from under that Ford 4600 that y'all have seen in some of my videos. Of course, of course we fixed it, but uh, yeah, that was, I guess that's been about five or six years ago now that I've done that. Maybe longer than that. But I'm a whole lot more careful about watching for culverts now. <laughs> uh, so every time I hit one of them things, it costs a lot of money. But anyway, it happens. It's a good clover right up in here. Really nice clover. I don't know if y'all can see it. Well, I got all my, like I showed y'all, but I got all my uh, monitors and stuff mounted in here now, and I got the wiring done. I got my business radio in here so we can talk tractor to tractor when we're working, me and Shannon are working together, and pushing snow, we use the radios a lot, stuff like that, so, uh, yep. This is... This is such a nice tractor. I'm really, really pleased with it so far, and it's it's it's, uh, it's just what I was wanting. So I'm tickled to death. And looks like there's a what is this up here in front of me? Looks like a bunch of styrofoam or something. I guess that's what it is. I'm gonna have to get out and get that styrofoam out of my hay because I don't. Yep, yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't need styrofoam bailed up in my hay bale. That'd be good. Have a cow blowed up with styrofoam or something. I don't know. Don't need that. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, this thing. Here's my coverage so far. I'm, I'm, uh, the coverage is in blue and overlapping a little bit but that's all right uh, I'm, I'm only using or I only have the GPS on because I am just trying it out to see if I can figure out how to use it because at some point I'm gonna have to use it with uh, spread some lime in the fall because I've, I've already got some lime jobs lined up and uh, I may spread some lime for myself so I need the GPS to work and I need to learn how to use it before I take it out to somebody's property and I don't know what I'm doing. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to get it all figured out and be used to using it before I actually have to put it to use. So I thought, hey, I'll just try to, I'll try to use it as a bow here and
Chris's GPS knew more, more about what I was doing than, than, uh, than I am because it was saying on the screen, it said crop, it said corn. And uh, I was mowing it and right here, right here up in this corner right here, I changed it to grass forge. Finally, it took me forever to figure out how to change it, but it said corn right there. And if you would go into the menu, I had it set up as mowing. So it said mowing corn. Uh, so that's, uh, I guess it knew what it was talking about, and I didn't because I come over here, and now I got to mow, mow freaking corn. <laughs> I need to change it back to mowing corn, I reckon. But anyway, got the phone call. I'll be back. Stick around, we'll do some bailing.